So we'll start <coughs> discussing about reports and dashboard in Salesforce. All right. Uh, why are we creating reports in Salesforce? The reason is very simple because we have all the data in Salesforce, right? So uh, where you have the data, that's where you are gonna do the reporting. All right. You you will go and search uh, for any particular data from a certain period, or you want to you know get a summary of some of the information that happens from the data itself, right? So in Salesforce, since you have the data here, you're going to do the reports here in Salesforce. Okay. Okay. So when we are talking about creating a report, there are a few things which you need, need to understand, right? Before you start creating a report, there are a few things which you will have to understand or, you know, again, as I say, you'll have to answer a few questions on your own before you start creating a report on Salesforce. All right. First question is, you need a report for which object? Which object or which all objects? So in case you need a report for multiple objects. Hello, sir. Can you please share your screen? Actually, I am not. I am already sharing my screen. No. No. Yeah. Now it's done. Okay. Yeah. So the first thing that you have to uh, you know uh, understand is for which object or which for which all objects you want to create the report. That's number one. Second thing that we have to understand is that we have to uh, understand here is which columns will be used in the report. Okay. So, for example, if I'm creating a report for account, so in that report, which all columns or fields from account do I need in that report? Okay. So, in the report, do I need the account name? Do I need the website? Do I need the industry or the phone or the packs or all of them? Right. So, that's the second thing that you need to understand. Is there a filter? Okay. Is there a filter that you want to put in that report? Filter is basically about if you want to put some criteria on the data that's being pulled in the report. Let's say uh, if I tell you give me a report of last month, then you'll have to put a filter where created date is from uh, 1st of September to 30th September. Correct? So that's going to be the filter. All right. What format do you want the report to be in? This is the next question. So Salesforce allows you to create reports in uh, four formats. One is tabular, one is summary, one is matrix, and the other is joint report. So which format do you want the report to be in? That's the next question. And then finally we have another thing. What do you want to do with the report? Once it's ready, what do you want to do when the report is ready? That's it. So sometimes you might want to just create a report and save it. Sometimes you might be interested in creating the report and exporting it, exporting the data. Sometimes you might want to uh, create a report and uh, uh, email it to someone and sometimes you might want to schedule the report okay so what exactly you want to do with the report that's the next question All right so these are the questions that you'll have to understand before you start creating a report all right the moment you have the answer to these questions you just you know your life is very very simple with a report it's the simplest thing that you can work on in salesforce all right so let's say you know I want to create a report for account. So my object is going to be account, right? Then I'll have to choose the fields. Then I'll have to see if there is any filter, any condition that I want to put for the report that I'm going to uh, generate. Which format do I want the data to be in? And what exactly I want to do with the report once the report is ready? Do I just want to save the report for future use? 
do i want to export the data and send it to someone do i want to schedule it do i want to email it to someone that's the next thing that i'll have to look into all right okay so let's get started with a report on salesforce.com let's create a dummy report All right. So uh, this is where we are going to create the report. All right. So for creating report, you just need to go to the reports tab. We have the report tabs here, tab here. Click on the report tab, and then go to new report. New report. right and then you have to click on create and this is where you have to create the report okay but before you actually come into the screen there is just one small thing that you have to do is select the object Fine. So basically, that's the screen where you're gonna create the report. But before you get into that screen, all that you have to do is you just have to make sure that you are selecting the object here. If you want to create a report for accounts, just select account object and then say create. If you want to create it, so by default account was selected. But if you want to create it for anything else, let's say for opportunities, then you should make sure that you are selecting the opportunities and then select it. Correct. So account or opportunity or whatever, you just select that. And then click on create. <clears throat> All right. So that gets you to the report builder screen. Now this is a report which is being created for account. Which all fields do I do you need? And just remove all the columns. So first of all, before I bring in the fields, let's understand the layout of this. So this is the preview section. This is where you will get the fields. This is where you put the filter. This is the list of fields that you have. Okay, so you will drag the fields from here and bring it, bring it to the preview section. All right, that's all. Uh, that's what you will have to do. Okay, so you just have to uh, drag the fields from the left side and put it in the preview section. All right. So fields are let's say the account name type industry
okay uh, apart from this let's say i need another field uh, number of employees if i need one more field annual revenue so whatever fields you want you can just drag and bring it bring them here on the report correct now in case you want to put a filter you can add the filters from here okay currently it does not show any data because your range is from 14th october you can make it all time see it starts displaying the data the range for the created date was from 14th october now i have made it all time and it starts showing all the records here this list now if you want to add some other filter that can also be added okay let's say i want to put a filter that show me only the records where number of employees is more than 1000 then i can just go and add the filter add field filter where number of employees is greater than greater than 1000 Right, so only these records are number of employees more than 1000, right? So this is whatever filter you want, that filter can be added from here. All right. And if you want to put some other filter also, one more filter, let's say I just want the records where the type is customer direct. Add one more filter. Show me only the records where type equals customer direct. That's it. Got it? So that's the thing. Just move one second. All right. So we have applied two filters here. Now, one is employees greater than thousand, and the second one is the type equals customer direct. So there are two filters which are working on this particular report at this point of time. Correct? Employees greater than thousand mm -hmm. and uh, type equals customer direct. All right. Mm -hmm. And there is an and logic here. We can have the microphones muted, please. Thank you. Uh, and we have the AND logic here. Alright. Uh, AND logic is basically doing what? It shows us the record where both these conditions are true. Only the records which have both these conditions true. See, now all the records are customer direct as well as num number of employees more than 1000. Right? What if you want to see all the records where any one of them is true? Either this or this. Okay, then you have to put a filter logic here. Instead of and, you have to make it or. That if number of employees is greater than 1000 or if the type is customer direct, show it. So to do that, you have to add the filter logic. So you just go to filter, add filter logic. And you make it. one or two click on ok and that's it see now it's showing you the records where any one of the logic is true even if the customer uh, the type is customer direct or number of employees is greater than thousand got it so if you want to add logics you can add from here if you want to add filters you can add the filters from here all right so going by my requirements i've already selected the object i've seen how to add the fields i have seen how to add the filters also now the next thing that i'll have to do is i have to understand how do i select the format of the report all right and what exactly is the format of the report so if you're you know trying to get a simple report where you just want to display some data then it should be tabular format by default it's tabular format 
there are four formats uh, which Salesforce allows you to create report in. By default, it's tabular format. Okay. Now, in case you want to create a report in some other format, then you'll have to change the format from here. You have to make it met summary or matrix or joint report, right? So that's what we have to do. So to make it a summary matrix or joint report format, all that we need to do is that you have to do is you just have to go and change the format into summary format okay now why will I need a summary format I need a summary format only when I have some requirement of a summary report okay you need a summary format report only when you need a summarized report what is a summarized report instead of all the data points if i just want to see some summary okay. for example uh, all right before i get into the summary report let me remove these uh, filters okay now in the tabular report what happened what is happening all the records are being displayed each and every record is being displayed correct now if you are talking about a summary report summary report is where you basically you know talk about summarizing the data let's say i want to understand uh, for customer direct how many employees in total i have and for customer channel against customer channel what is the total number of employees so that's a summary that I'm planning to do. All right, I'm trying to summarize it, group the records by the type. All right, so let me show it to you. Change it to summary, okay? And summarize it with the type. Which field do you want to summarize? The employee field. Summarize this field, I want the sum of it. Okay, and then just go to show and remove the details and also go to show remove the drop zone. Now see, customer direct, there are seven records, total number of employees is 226,000. This is the summary report. It just summarizes the value based on a certain field and gives you the summarized value. Customer channel, four records, 15,000 employees. Sometimes you need this kind of report. You don't need the complete detailed report. Let's say your manager says that, okay, just give me a breakup of how, how much uh, revenue we generated from India and how much we generated from UK. So in that case, you will need a summary report. You don't need to you know, give him details of each sale that you did. Okay. The requirement for the remo report is just a summary of how much did you sell for a certain country. That's it. Right. All right. So that's basically about the summary report. All right. On the same way, there is another report which is called a matrix format. Like the summary format, we have another format which is called the matrix format okay what is the matrix format of report matrix format is basically uh, the report where you can summarize the data on two axes okay in the summary report you are summarizing it on one axis in the summary report you're summarizing it in one axis right the summary is happening like this Matrix report is where you can summarize it on this axis as well. Got it? So that's basically our matrix format. Summary format is just summarizing it on one axis. It can summarize it on two axis. Or you can summarize the data using two fields. How will we do that? 
let's have a quick look into this the same report let's convert it into a matrix format the moment you click or uh, you select a matrix format you will see there's some uh, drop field option has appeared this side as well as this side so you can put one field on this side other field on this side so breakup can be done like that let's say type is here and industry is here now let's remove the drop zones and let's remove the record counts see now the breakup is which industry which customer type what is the total number of employees earlier it was just for the customer direct and customer channel now the breakup is under customer direct under which industry what is the total number of employees got it so this is a matrix format report so if you have to do the breakup or if you have to summarize the data uh, based on two fields then you should use a matrix format if you just have to uh, do the breakup using one field then you should use the summary format that is it tell me if this is clear if there is any confusion here no so we have discussed so far so okay right so we have uh yeah so we have the report we have selected the object for the report which all fields need to be selected which filters which format in the format there is one more format joint report format i'm going to talk about joint report a little later okay but before we get into the joint report format uh we'll quickly have a look into what can we do with the report now my report is ready now what can I, what can i do with this report okay so you can you have a few options uh what can you do with the report you have a few options option number 1 is you can save the report you can just save it that's one thing that you can do you can uh okay you can export the report you can print the report and you can schedule it okay once you created the report you can export it you can print it you can save it for future use and you can schedule it scheduling means uh define a frequency to email the same report to someone okay that's scheduling let's say there's a report and you want that report every monday then you can define that schedule that okay fine every monday this report should be sent to me or it should be sent to someone else so that thing can be defined that's basically the scheduling of the report all right okay so that's basically about the uh what we can do with the report how will you do those things let's have a quick look once you are ready with the report once your report is done you are ready here all i have to do is click on run report okay now on this screen you can do all those things whatever i told you want to export the data from the report just click on export details you want to want to uh, print the report just click on printable view you want to save this report click on save as you want to customize it back just click on customize you want to show the details of the report click on show details and if you want to schedule the report just go to schedule future runs right and that's where you will be able to schedule the report fine so this is how your report is basically created Uh, for scheduling first of all you'll have to save it so let me just go ahead and save it give it a name and save it account list report public reports save and continue to schedule let's go just give me one minute
हेलो यप ओके सो ऑन scheduling the report you know once you save the report and then you come to the schedule screen you see that you have an option of defining the frequency how frequently you want this report to be sent okay i want this report every monday hello till what date you want this report to be sent i want it till 31st of december so the schedule will end on 31st december if you want it after that you again have to go ahead and reschedule it uh who is the running user okay. so the current user who do you want the report to be sent to so do you want to email this report to yourself or to someone else that's something that you can select All right uh yeah so that's it and you also have to define a preferred time okay what time you want that report to be sent to this person so here you just have three options because this is a developer edition but on a paid edition you will have option of all the 24 hours so you can just select that you want to save it uh, send it in the morning 7 am or 8 am or whatever time you want to send the report the scheduled report that can be selected now you have the option of selecting exact start time till okay you have the option of selecting the preferred start time but the actual start time of the report being sent depends on the job queue activity okay so the actual start time will completely depend on the job queue activity got it so that's that is the thing fine so that's how it works all right and then just save the report schedule just me one second all right so that's basically about the scheduling of report right so this is what we can do with the report so your reporting requirement starts uh from you know selecting which object you want to create the report for and it ends at what exactly you want to do with that report finally you will have uh you know all these things done and your report will be ready for you fine so if you have to schedule it if you have to export it print it whatever needs to be done just do it with the report and you will have your report ready all right okay now the joint report so we have talked about tabular summary and matrix let's talk about the joint report how does a joint report work a joint report basically means um a report which can use multiple report types all right what is a report type now when you create a report you saw that first thing that we have to do is select the object actually you know while i'm selecting the object it's basically this is this step is called selecting the report type okay select the report type okay why is it called report type why is it not called an object because sometimes you are trying to create a report for multiple objects also right like if you want to create a report for accounts and contracts right so these are all report types and a report type basically defines which objects are going to be a part of that report right 
So let's say if I want to create a report for accounts and contacts, then I should select this report type. If I want to create a report for accounts and with partners, then I should select this report type, right? So whenever you have a report with multiple report types, uh, sorry, uh, multiple objects, then you will have to select that particular report type, you know, the accounts and contacts. And for the single objects also, there are report types. So these are all the report types which are available in Salesforce and you select one of these report types to create the report. Now, what if I want to create a report which involves multiple report types? Then you need a joint format. Okay, let's say I start the report with contacts and accounts. This is one report type. Create it. Okay, and I say all range, all time. Okay, so this is an account and contact report, right? Now, if I want one more report type on the same report, now this is account and contact report. Okay, let me create a summary of this. by Let's say I want to summarize it with account name. All right. Just to see under which account I have how many contacts. So the summary report, let me remove the details and let me remove the drop zones also. Okay. So I've done a summary which shows me how many contacts I have under which account. Correct. That's fine. Now along with this, this is a report. Uh, this is a report where I have used the report type as contacts and accounts correct that's what uh, the report type is now I want to use another report type here on the same report which is account and opportunity all right so how will we do that to do that you have to add a report type here but before you can add a report type you have to change the format to joint format because two report types can only be used in a joint format so go to joint format, all right, and in joint format report, you just have to, the moment you, you know, select the joint format, you will see that you have the option of add report type available here. Your report has got converted to block one, okay, which means you can add more blocks here you can just go ahead and add uh, one more report type. Now if you want opportunities, bring in the opportunities here. Okay, so block two is for the opportunities report. You want to add one more report type? Let's say customer support report cases, bring in the cases report. So what I'm doing, I'm actually adding multiple reports on the same uh, I'm adding multiple report types on the same report. This is the joint report. So the first one is contact and accounts. The second one is opportunities. The third one is cases. 
Now, only thing that you have to keep in mind is all the report types that you are including here should have something in common. In this case, account is the common thing. Correct. In this case, account is the common thing. So all the report that you are trying to, uh, all the report types that you are trying to pull in a single joint report should have something in common, some uh, object or field in common, right? Account object is common in uh, all these three. In contacts, opportunities, and cases, account is common, right? So that's the reason why account is acting as the axis and all the joint report is being created around that particular axis. Now, the moment you have converted this into joint report, you will see that now there are three blocks. You can have up to five blocks in a joint report. This way is one, two, three, two more blocks you can add to five. Each block will have its own filter section. See the contact and opportunity filter section, sorry, contact and account filter section, block one. There's a filter section for the block two. This is the filters for the block three. Each section will have its own filter. Uh, each block will have its own filter area. All right. And you will be able to put the filter for each block. Now for opportunity block two, you can just go and make it all time. So now I've made everything all time. So if you want different filters, you can put different filters in different blocks as per your requirement. And that's it. So your joint report is ready. And this is how a joint report is created. Got it? Now the same thing you can do uh, with this report as well. You can just save it or you can just uh, schedule it, whatever you want to do. That's it. All right. Yeah. Okay, so that's all about the report. That's all that we have to, you know, understand about a report. That's all we do with a report. Now the next thing is basically dashboard. So we have understood, you know, how to create a report, how to, you know, uh, select the fields, filters, formats, what do we do with the report finally. We have seen the general report, report types. Now the next thing that we'll have to talk about is the dashboard, okay. So <clears throat> we'll start talking about dashboard, I mean, uh, we'll talk about dashboard in tomorrow's session. We will not start dashboard uh, today. In case you have any doubts or questions on the reports part, you guys can just ask me. Mm. 